Greetings, I'm Bell from Absentee's Gaming and today I'm bringing to you a well-awaited game which is due across all major platforms on the 31st of August, Monster Harvest. The game has had a few knockbacks with the release date, but it's well worth the wait. So let's begin. This video will cover a few basics as we play along. I have edited and cut out a lot of the dialogue so that you can experience this for yourselves. First, we have a selection of four playable characters to choose as our character. Enter a name and the name of your farm. In a nutshell, your character receives a letter from your uncle giving you his farm. Lucky you. This is all because your uncle has made a new discovery in his lab. You can now grow seeds into what he calls planimals. This has led people from all around to form, more or less overnight, a small settlement around your uncle's lab which they are calling Planimal Point. The game starts in your home. Here you'll start with the basic furniture, but later, once you earn some serious coinage, you can reposition, add new furniture and expand your house in size. You'll find your bed is the most important thing in the game, it's the only way you can advance time once you have used up all your stamina for that current day. This mad looking character here is your uncle, Professor Spark. He goes with a few basics to guide you, however the game is pretty straightforward. We really need to earn coins by farming, right? So, as with most farm management games, let's go and gather some wood and stone. For every swing of one of your four trusty tools, you'll see that our stanima, which is the green bar in the top left hand corner, goes down. Once our stanima runs dry, we'll need to hit the hay and go to sleep to advance a day. The blue bar underneath your stanima is your experience, and once it is full, you will level up and unlock new crafting recipes, like this groovy chest. So so sleepy after all the log whacking. Let's take a quick look around the farm before heading off to sleep. The sign outside your house is for upgrading the size, it's a pretty penny though, so plenty of saving up. I have no idea what this green glowing industrial washing machine is, but I'm sure we'll find out later. Over here, we can collect a heart slime to upgrade our soil quality. I'll go over this later on. Hmm, the mailbox. It seems sturdy, no one's knocking that down in a hurry. It looks like it. Our uncle's blocking the path north. This screams slavery so far. Our little money maker, the consignment board. This is where you add any items to sell, be that anything that you've found that isn't nailed down. Your crops, resources, food, fish and flowers. Unfortunately, we don't know the price of what items are worth, but it's not too difficult to remember once you've sold the odd few things. No need for random scribbles on paper. Right, off for our first sleep. You can sleep until the evening, as certain things happen only at night, but for now, since we are so tired and it's only day one, let's get a full night's sleep. Day number two. Every end of day, you will get a quick breakdown of how much coins you have made on your road to becoming rich. Over here, we have two plots. One being an affordable stable and the other being an even more affordable barn. We'll have to get these up when we can so we can make more coinage. What else do we have? Plenty of logs, plenty of rocks scattered all around. Oh, what's this? A bunker? Hmm, the bunker isn't unlocked yet. Curious what's inside though. More resources, trees and plenty of farmland to play with.
OK, let's explore the menu a little. We have crafting and all recipes we learn by levelling up will be available to make in here as long holding the correct materials that is needed. The calendar, if no one knows how to read a calendar please get yourself sent away on a rubber bus. It displays images relating to events and occasions that are happening in Planimal Point. Unfortunately we can't display what the events are, use your initiative. Clearly on the 10th is Mr Potato Head's party and on the 18th is C Day. You know, C Day. Yeah, everyone knows what C Day is. Cool. I look forward to both. In this tab we have the plant decks. It displays three seasons. Dry, which is where we start. Wet and dark. It also shows us what each seed produces. Interesting. Anyhow, enough of that. Let's crack on. Let's get down and dirty and plant these seeds. As any knowledgeable farmer knows, we have to plough with our hoe. Plant seeds and then water with our trusty watering can. And then refill from the water source and then do it again, 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 and keep doing it. Then, once that's done, continue to collect wood and stone and show me all these resources will come in handy later, like to upgrade the barn or our house, etc. Let the grind begin. Day number three. Rain, rain, rain. Typical weather, however, rain is good because we don't need to use our precious stanima. Watering our crops. So it's a bonus. Let's get focused on having a little look around. What have we found here? It's food, uh, honey pepper, to be precise. You can eat the fruit and veg items that you find through store. Very, very small amount of stanima. Keep that noted. Very small amount. But remember, to always sell at least one of them per season, I'll explain this later on. Ah, flower, these bring a little bit of income by selling them on the consignment board. Or you can gift them to people in Planimal Point. Here's a quick map of the main part of town. Mm, it's a little hard to make out, so I doodled this quickly. Ah, it's better. As you can see here, we have some people's homes, some weird looking little pipes, some more people's homes. The saloon, which can only be visited on an evening. You'll find my old chum captain here who sells the odd few snacks and items of furniture. Hmm, gotta be a bootleg goods, right? But who cares if we've got the coinage for it, buy it and place it in your home. No questions asked. And here in the centre of the village, we have your uncle's lab. You can mix two of your crops together to produce a hybrid seed in this strange old machine here. Apart from that, there's nothing notable to steal and everything seems going down. Down here, we have the slimery. A little shop where you can buy slimes and more importantly, upgrade your tools. Thorn. Not only charges an arm and a leg in prices, but thinks he's a little bit of a village joker. Slimes are used to produce planimals, boost crops, get livestock, get yourself a loyal and faithful steed from your crops, upgrading your tools. Simply uses less stamina when swinging, leaving you to get more done in a day's work. And next door to the slimery, we have the doctor's hospital, medical centre. I think that's what it is. You can buy stamina boosting items here, but I don't see their worth. What is 50 stamina in the game? It's really not a lot, trust me. This is my kind of place here, the cemetery, but unfortunately it's of no purpose that I can find yet. And second to last, we have the general store, run by this unsavory looking fellow. Again, nothing stealable, so I'll stick to stealing flowers. Here, you can get your mitts on seeds for your farm. Salt, 
and sugar for cooking recipes and a backpack upgrades which is definitely worth it. The final part of Planimal Point is here, the collection board. In a nutshell, whatever you find, harvest or fish, as long as you sell at least one of them in your consignment board at your farm, it will get added here the following day. Collect an entire collection and you can unlock some nifty little extras. Right, let's get things moving. Montage style. Collect resources, collect resources, collect more resources, rocks, wood, collect it all. And then sleep. Sleep once your stamina is out. Day number four. Day number four. Lovely little wedge there, but we need more. Water, water, water your plants. Water, 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 water. Also, added a red slime, hence the dangerously looking red glow on that potato. A bit more clearing up of the farm, and as always, a quick run around to find any food or flowers for that bit of extra wonga. Day number five. Amazing 20 coins. Come on, crops grow. Where's the miracle grow seller in this game? Need capital for world domination. Hey, Uncle Spark, how's it hanging? Help me, Abs. Oh, what's up? You seem to have a red glowing thing following you. The slime never seems to come out of the dungeon before. Something must have. Press the fast forward button. Okay, so. Our uncle thanks us and gives us a sword in case of any more slimes we encounter. And our first little pet, Planimal. It's a potato head looking thing. Look at him. Look at him. He looks like a walker's crisp with a very straight face. Hmm. Oh, are they potato boobs? Anyhow, it's a mutator and we shall name him Chip. Oh, and uncle also said something about the dungeon up north is now open on an evening. Look at his little face, look at his little face, look at him. Right, back to the grind. It's a shame I can't teach Chip to lend me a hand with a farm. Okay, right, we're resting until nightfall. Put Chip to the test. Right, here we are at the dungeon. Hmm, so this place is full of resources, including including iron, there we go. And this strange green crystal stuff. And yep, there we go, some more crayon. And some iron, yep, more iron. And wait, what's that? What's that? It's a strange rabbit, dog, frog, hamster looking thing. Let's go pummel it. Uh, combat looks pretty old school. Yeah, I like these old school battles. Let's see what Chip can do. Hmm. Looks like we need to level this guy up. Um, it looks like we're just going to have to slam this rabbit, frog, dog. Okay, slam it is. Six damage. Hmm. It looks like we are going to kick his ass. So, yeah. Very straightforward, speed this up a bit. Alright, oh, it heals. It heals itself. Mm, yeah, we're still gonna win. And boom! Chip has nearly leveled up. Great stuff. Well done, little man. Oh, next fight. Uh, shit. Uh, crap, I fired. Should have known from experience. Chip didn't heal. This doesn't look good and I do not see a runaway option. It looks like I'm going to have to slowly walk away. Chip, you served me well, my little potato friend. And again, Chip made just... nope. Okay, Chip's gone to a better place. It looks like the death of Planwell gives us heart slime to throw into the soil back at the farm to improve our soil. So all is not lost. And we have woken up in the medical place. Clearly, that little potato-faced little prick 
just killed Chip. Must have knocked me out. Okay, so let's go recover our losses, spread some plamal remains on our soil, and get a good night's rest. <laughs> Been emotional. Day number six. We may have lost Chip, but 265 coins is pretty good. Now back to sorting these bloody crops out. Another forage around and back to sleep. Day number seven. Hmm, not bad. 225 this time. Mm, doing alright, we're doing alright. Okay. Crops are finally here. Two planimals, another potato head, and a radish looking Rastafarian thing. I won't name those two and I will not grow any attachment to them whatsoever. Also, we have eight potatoes ready to harvest, so let's let us see how much those bad boys' buds bring us. We slayed our first slime pretty easy with a single whippersnap of our sword, and it was dead. With what coins we had saved up, we quickly nipped the general store to this unsavory character to top up on seeds for our new crop cycle and mini expansion of our fields. More crops means more coins of course. Another quick look around in the dungeon with our two planimals, we quickly made mince meat of a blue snake and also noted that it seems only one of our planimals can fight at a time. We also found the shopkeeper wandering around in the dungeon, a bit odd, and he was happy to sell us some under the coat dodgy hybrid seeds. This must be the stuff we need to stay hush hush about if you know what I mean. We later came across a four-legged Venus flytrap looking giraffe creature guarding a chest. And we all know it's inside chests. It's usually riches. So we also set about this flytrap. Our Rasta Radish unfortunately lost the fight, but fought well leaving a little potato oh shit. Nope, we lost him as well. Not to worry, we will get some heart slime planimal remains to scatter on our soil which upgrades the starting planimal levels so I see it as a win-win situation really. Yeah, lost three planimals. Right, day number eight. What? 1,300. Wow, those spuds do fetch a pretty penny. Imagine the entire field of them. Right, okay back to the farm. Um, we have to plant those dodgy seeds because we ran out of stamina last night and couldn't plant them. So, back to the planting, watering, resource gathering and looking at upgrading our soil level since we have a fair few heart slimes all before a night's rest. Rise and shine! We found out that the broken bridge has now been repaired and it leads to a rec centre where every Friday we can fight our planimals against other town folks planimals and probably lose unless we beefcake our planimals up first. As I continue to grind the farm in the background to advance a couple more days, I hope you fellow monster harvesters I've enjoyed my first part of Monster Harvest and learning the basics from day 1 to 10. Please be sure to check out my other vids. Um, there's probably going to have a few little guides come out for this game. Be sure to check those out too. Don't forget to subscribe for the following up vid covering any further days and if you're unsure of anything in the game or are just a friendly old chap or lass, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be sure to get back to you. I'm Bill from Absent Chase Gaming and I'll see you in the next one. Hope you've enjoyed. Peace out.